You're born into darkness, no fanfare, no guidance. Just a clutch of pale, twitching spiderlings crammed together in a silken sack, most of whom won't survive the week. Some of them won't survive the hour. Because first lesson you learn as a black widow? Eat or be eaten. You scatter before your siblings can turn on you. No parent protects you. No one teaches you how to spin, hunt, or hide. You're born alone. You survive alone. You're small, almost invisible, a dot of life surrounded by danger. Ants, beetles, even other spiders see you as food. You keep low, hug the shadows, and spin your first crude web. Not for beauty, for survival. Your venom is already potent, even at this size. But that doesn't make you safe. It just means you're slightly less easy to kill. Congratulations, your venom can drop a cockroach in seconds, but you're still one wing flap away from becoming lunch for a bird with no appreciation for biochemical marvels. Weeks pass. You molt, again and again. Like a tiny horror-themed Russian nesting doll, you shed your exoskeleton as you grow. Each time, you emerge bigger, darker, more dangerous. Your skin hardens, your eight legs stretch longer, and on your belly, a red hourglass appears, as if Mother Nature said, Hey predators, here's your one and only warning label. But let's be honest, most predators don't read. Or care. A blue jay isn't about to pause mid-swoop to appreciate the evolutionary aesthetics of your abdomen. No, they just see something crunchy with legs. You learn to hang low beneath ledges, inside mailboxes, under eaves. You become the tenant no one invited but everyone fears. Your web? It's not the stuff of fairy tales. No Charlotte's inspirational messages here. Just a messy, sticky death trap. It's like the haunted basement of spider architecture functional, terrifying, and full of regrets. But it works. Your silk is five times stronger than steel of the same diameter. One tremble, one misplaced footstep by an unsuspecting fly, and dinner is served. No fuss, no mercy. You inject your venom and let science do the rest of the enzymes breaking down your prey's insides into a nutritious smoothie. It's efficient, if a little viscous. But irony is your constant roommate. You are a predator who lives in fear. Every day you face a litany of threats, birds, lizards, bigger spiders, and the ever-meddling homo sapiens. And if you're a male black widow, buckle up, buddy. Your existence is basically a tragic romantic comedy minus the romance and heavy on the tragic. You mature faster, grow smaller, and spend your days preparing for one mission. Find a female and hope she's not in the mood for a snack. You approach cautiously, tapping her web in a kind of eight-legged interpretive dance. If you're lucky, she's not hungry. If you're really lucky, she's feeling charitable. If you're not lucky, she eats you mid-courtship. Love bites literally. Some scientists argue the whole she eats her mate thing is overblown. More a case of captivity-induced crankiness than a consistent wild behavior. But let's face it. When your dating pool is also your potential death sentence, even optimism feels like a risky bet. If you're a female, you've got your own troubles. You live longer, sure. You grow to the size of a pencil eraser. Basically Godzilla, in spider terms. Your venom becomes powerful enough to hospitalize a human, though rarely fatal. Not that people care. You're a headline waiting to happen. The poster child of misunderstood arachnids. A walking cautionary tale. People don't learn about you, they learn around you. Don't go in the shed, there might be a black widow. Boots. Brooms. Blow torches. Humans descend like chaotic gods, flattening your web because it's near a bike tire or gasp a child's sandbox. You're not aggressive, you don't hunt humans, but you are one wrong toe away from being declared a public enemy. And now climate change has joined the party. Drought, heat waves, wildfires, you name it. 
Habitat's got it. Your prey vanishes. Your web stretches across unfamiliar ground, often nearer to human dwellings. It's not strategy, it's desperation. And it doesn't win you any fans. So why does it suck to be born a black widow spider? Because you're feared more than you're understood. Because your strength is mistaken for malice. Because despite your silk, your venom, your evolutionary brilliance, you're still vulnerable, still hunted. You are a widow by name, but solitude defines your life more than sorrow. You are a shadow with fangs, a misunderstood marvel in the corners of the world. Until someone decides you've been there too long, 